what's up youtube simply k here and i'm back with another video today i'm going to be giving y'all a story time i know i don't really get into story times like that but i want to so if you're interested in this video make sure you stay tuned make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel all that good stuff your post notifications are on so you get notified every time i upload and i'm gonna get straight into the video Okay, so before I get into the actual moment that I met my dad, I got to give y'all a little background information so y'all can kind of like understand the story. Growing up, it was just me and my two sisters. I'm the middle child. I have an older sister and a younger sister. My mom, and she was married to my younger sister's dad. And I'm not going to keep saying younger sister, older sister. I'm going to call them by name so my older sister Toya and my younger sister Catherine now if you've watched my videos you've seen Catherine on plenty of my videos before Toya she may have been on one video but that's just besides the point so we grew up in the house with them and me and Catherine already knew that Toya had her own dad like me and Toya are five years apart and my younger sister is darker than I am um and I take after my mom a lot. So growing up, I always heard, you look just like your mom. You um, you favor your mom so much, this, that, and the third. I never heard that I favored my dad. Catherine, on the other hand, of course, she looked more like our dad because that was her dad. It wasn't until, I'm going to say it was one random day. All I know is... Me and Catherine got into a little argument and we were young. It was a petty argument. And I just remember her saying, that's why my mom, um, no, she's like, that's why my dad black and your dad white. And to this day, she's like, I don't remember saying that, but I remember her saying that. And again, as little kids, as siblings growing up, you're going to say stupid stuff. You're going to say stuff that you don't even have no business saying. And you're going to say stuff that you don't even... You don't even know what you're talking about, but you're just saying stuff just to get under my skin. After that happened, I don't even remember how old I was. All I know is I could have been, I don't know, between 10, 11, 12, something like that. After that happened, I went to my dad um, and was like, Daddy, are you my dad? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I'm your dad, and I didn't think nothing else of it after that, but it still stuck with me as I was getting older. I'm like, why am I lighter than Catherine, and my mom is brown skin, and I already know that Toya has a different dad, so why am I so light? So I used to, um, I used to question that every now and then once we had that little argument but before all of this happened when i tell y'all that my dad which is Catherine's biological dad he never made a point to say that i wasn't his my mom never made a point to say that i wasn't his it, it never was anything it was just a simple argument that me and my sister had but once that happened i started to overthink like okay i'm lighter i used to look at him and be like okay what do i see in him that features that i have and i didn't really see any features i'm just like i just look like my mom and that would be the excuse my mom would give me kadisha you favor me you take after me and Catherine takes after um y'all dad or whatever okay so boom fast forward once that happened i did start asking my mom questions um, I even asked my older sister kept questions, but you know, growing up, there'd be secrets kept and it'd be secrets kept, I guess, to like not hurt anybody's feelings or whatever. So my older sister knew this whole time that I wasn't my, or I wasn't my sister's dad's biological daughter or whatever. But she wasn't in no place or had no business telling me that. So I would ask, I remember asking her a few times and she didn't really give me a direct answer. Okay. Once that was, like once the cat was already out of the bag that I was kind of like curious and questioning like, well, do I have my own dad? Um, is daddy my dad or whatever? 
I, you know, I continue to go on or whatever. I'm just like, F it, you know? That's my dad because that's what I'm being told, that that's my dad. He treats me like I'm his. He loves me like I'm his. I love him like I'm his. All of that. So it really doesn't matter. Um, fast forward, my mom and dad gets divorced. And it's just us in the household, me, Catherine, Toya, and my mom. And one day, we moved from the house that they had got a divorce in when we were living there. And we moved to another house. At this time, it was one random day. I remember like it was yesterday. We were going to the store. Me and my mom was going to the store. And we walked to Oxford store, like the Oxford corner store. Um, down the street from our house. This day is the day that I met my dad. Walked in the store, and as we were walking in the store, my biological dad was walking out. And I remember this brown skin tall guy, he had on like this black, um, you know the little dome cap things that you wear on your head? He had that on his head, and he had on this like, I think it was like a dicky navy jumpsuit or whatever. I didn't know who this man was. I just knew, I just thought that this man knew who my mom was uh, from back in the day or whatever. And clearly he knew her from back in the day. Um, so he spoke to her, she spoke to him and he was like, hey, when you gonna call me? And then she said, I'll call you. I didn't think nothing of it at this point. I'm just like, okay. So we walk in the store, we get what we are gonna get and then we're getting ready to walk back home. Oh, my ear itch. Now, as we're walking back home, mind y'all, I don't fault my mom for anything or how she went about the situation. But at the time that she told me like that was my dad, it was kind of like, dang, I'll figure it out like this. So as we're walking back home, my mom asked, she turned to me as we're walking and she asked me, she was like, Kadisha, remember when you had been asking me, um, who your dad is and I'm like yes she was like that was your dad so I'm confused like that's my dad so as we get back in the house I get emotional obviously because it's like I had this feeling that daddy wasn't my dad and I've been asking these questions and I've been getting the same answer over and over and now y'all are divorced so it's like I can't ask him questions I just want to know why I just want to know why I never met him why I'm the only one that didn't know who my dad was like what was the reason so she ends up calling my older sister because at this time my older sister is on her own she has her first child or whatever and my mom explained to her, like, you know, I just told Kadisha about her dad, this and the third. At the time that I met him, I was 14 years old, and I met him as I was walking to a corner store. He didn't say anything to me. I didn't say anything to him. But, oh, I do remember him asking, like, when he asked her, like, when are you going to call me? I think he asked, like, is this her? But I didn't know at the time what they were talking about. And my mom did say yes. So it all, you know, like the puzzle pieces were coming together. Him asking, is this her? Because he never met me. Um, him asking, like, when are you going to call me? Or whatever the case may be. It all added up. At that time, like I said, I was 14, year old, 14 years old when I met him. Well, when I seen him, like, in the flesh. Seen him. Um... And that was that. After that, I hadn't seen him anymore. I just had confirmation that as a child growing up, the person that I thought was my biological dad because he treated me as his biological daughter. He loved me unconditionally, all of that. And at the same time, when my mom got with um, the one that I grew up with, she was still pregnant with me. So he was there since birth. I mean, so if a person is there for you since birth, when it comes to a father figure, 
I mean, it, it's just that, you know, that's the one that I grew up calling dad. That's the one that I still call dad to this day. Um, do I have a relationship with my biological dad? We have talked, we have met in person and was able to talk when I was 19 years old. And since then we have communicated here and there until this day we have communicated. Like I just talked to him like not too long ago, about a week ago. But um, there are reasons why my mom, um, I guess, kept it from me to protect me because he was doing his own thing and she moved how she moved for the reasons she moved and whatever was best for her at the time. I'm not going to get into that. But yeah, it was just crazy for me to have these feelings, these mixed emotions about, is he really my dad? Like, is daddy really my dad? Or do I have another dad? And then to be walking down the street, a random day, walking down the street to the store and seeing my biological dad in the flesh and not knowing who he is to just being like, that's your dad. That's your dad, Kadisha. You've been asking me this question. That's your dad. It's, I wouldn't say it's been a journey, but um, as far as the closeness I have with my biological dad, it's not as tight because, you know, he does his own thing. I'm grown now, I'm 28 years old. And when I first met him in person, like was able to meet him, embrace him with the hug, I think I was like 19. So it's been nine years since I've been able to actually physically meet him. And within those nine years, I have grown up. I was doing my own thing. He was doing his own thing. You know, life happened or whatever. But at the same time, in my own way, I was able to, you know, build a small relationship with him, whether it's talk on the phone, say, hey, how you doing every now and then, but it's not as close. It's, it, and I, I, I don't, I wouldn't say that it would never be close, but it's not as close as it could have been if I had a, maybe known, known a lot sooner. But I'm kind of glad that I didn't know a lot sooner because like I said, growing up in the house, like my childhood was perfectly fine with who raised me. I had no issues with any of my upbringing to that extent. But it was just crazy how I met my dad and once I did learn some of the reasons why things happened the way they did, I kind of understood my mom's point of view. I may not never know the full story and at this point I really don't care because at the end of the day now that I know who my biological dad is, I can call him up, he can call me up, whatever the case may be and even to this day I still talk to the one that raised me and consider him my father as well because that's that's who I grew up knowing like to this day he'll tell me you know you're my daughter ain't no stepdaughter this ain't no stepdad that and I appreciate and love him for that but I, I love both of them it's just that the relationship the extent of each relationship is a lot different so yeah, that's pretty much the story of how I met my dad. I hope y'all understood it because I know I was using dad interchangeably between my stepfather and my biological father. But if you know, you know. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you all would like to hear more story times, make sure you let me know and yeah make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed and until next time i'll see you on my next video peace